care. Well, today and in the days and weeks ahead, parents will be having difficult conversations with their kids about the horrific tragedy in Texas. CBS 58's Frank Healy spoke with mental health experts about how to start that conversation, and he's in our studio with more. Frank? Amanda and Mike, mental health specialists say one of the biggest determining factors for how your child processes what happened in Texas is how you, the parent, are processing what happened. Let's just remember, kids are going to take a cue from you. Experts say when tragedy like this strikes, wanting to protect your kids, maybe by keeping them home from school, is normal. But we have to go on with our lives. We cannot change our routine um, because then we give in to these perpetrators. Child behavioral experts say if your child is scared of things like going to school, talk about it. Talking about to the different things that um, parents and children can do to keep themselves safe um, when they're in the community, when they're doing activities is really important. They say too much information, like the constant updates from Always On News, can do more damage than good. Start the conversation out by asking them what they already know and use age appropriate language. So that you can then provide correct information and meet them where they're at. Um, when you do talk to your kiddo, then you're going to definitely want to keep it simple. It's also important to look for changes in their behavior. Are they becoming withdrawn, not talking with their friends, or losing interest in things they like to do? If you do notice those changes in your child or in yourself, to reach out to your primary care provider or to a mental health professional. They say the National Child Traumatic Stress Network and the Children's Wisconsin website are both good resources for parents. In the studio, Frank Healy, CBS 58 News. Frank, thank you, and we will continue to bring you coverage of the Texas school shooting as more information comes out. So stay with us on our air and online to get those latest details.